Hey, hey Capricorn, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your February 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, welcome to February, Capricorn. You have the Strength card followed by Trust and you have the Bliss. You're the first sign to get the Bliss card and this is like the Sun card in Tarot. So I'm really excited to see where this reading goes for you because a lot of you, you've been through a lot. We see that here with the Strength card. This is about perseverance. You've had to persevere. You've had to dive into the energy of self-discipline. Uh, you've had to really see what you're made of is kind of this energy I get here for you. A lot of Leo energy showing up here, uh, even though I don't see directly Leo out here. Uh, well, maybe with the King of Wands here, but I see some of you could have some strong Leo placements. Maybe you're rising or your moon, or you could be dealing with a Leo or that full moon in January that we had in the sign of Leo could have been a very, very powerful one around completions because I do see the world here showing up for you. Now, this is about overcoming obstacles, Capricorn. It's about power and fitness, getting yourself in the right mindset, the right maybe physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. I feel like you have been exercising the mind. You've been exercising your thought process and there's been a lot of expansion and growth going on within you here. And I almost get this energy of freedom with the wild horses there in the water. Something has been difficult for you emotionally as we see the water showing up here, but, <coughs> excuse me, but you could be freeing yourself from this, it's almost like I'm hearing from this nightmare. So if some of you have gone through a situation where you've really had to recover, you've had to heal, or if it's felt like a nightmare for you, Capricorn, which I know a lot of you have been going through a lot, not just in the last few months, but for some of you the past year or two or longer, and we do see the Four of Swords showing up here. So you've even got to the point at times of burning yourself out, uh, burning the candle at both ends, or just feeling like you don't have anything left to keep on going. That's about to shift here, or you're going to have a moment of rapport, a moment of rest here in the month of February. Now, trust is showing up as your key theme. So it's almost as if you lost faith or you lost sight that... The universe has your back here. This is about taking a leap of faith. It is about trusting that everything is happening for you is in your highest good, despite the challenges, the obstacles, and the shifts that you've gone through here have actually made you a stronger, more uh, resilient human. And I do feel like this is about you staying committed to your path. You staying committed to, you know, what you're loyal to, your calling. This is about letting go of regrets, letting go of the past and allowing yourself to take that leap of faith moving forward. There's a new beginning or a new journey showing up here. Now, for some of you, this may have to do with trusting in others, trusting in yourself. Perhaps there was a breach of of honesty, this could be betrayal, possibly infidelity for some of you, because it does talk about secrets and honest assessments, really getting honest this month about whom you can trust, trusting in yourself, trusting in your higher source. So I think the trust is really important and we're going to see that showing up here throughout your reading. And then of course the bliss card. It's like after all of this strength, all of this determination that you've had to kind of fight through here, we have the bliss card. And this is this is saying that it hasn't been for nothing, right? This is so you can create your heaven on earth. This is about happiness, sunshine, abundant. It's the yes card as well. So if there are any offers that are coming your way, or if this is a beautiful new opportunity, I feel like this is a big yes. And they just showed me 444 four, four on the clock. So that could be significant. Fours are all about stability. 
structure, foundation, and planning as well. So some of you are really hitting a wish fulfillment here, or you are heading in the direction of your dreams, and you're saying, yes, I accept this. This is what I want. It reminds me of the land before time. You know, when Littlefoot and Sarah and Petrie, they're all trying to get to the land before time, uh, or um, that special place where there's fruitful abundance, there's plenty of tree stars, there's plenty of food, their ancestors are there. It's almost as if you've had to go through this journey and you've met souls along the way, some that you, you didn't quite like, right? Kind of like Littlefoot and Sarah, some that you've grown to like, some that have changed and altered your life forever, your support system. So I really get this energy of finding yourself, finding what's important. Uh, this is about inherent values, staying humble. This is your integrity and never losing sight of the direction that you are wanting to move forward in, right? Even though there's been ups and downs, even in the, the land before time, I feel like you're still facing your true north, but there is something here about releasing and letting go of regrets or uh, lack of trust, letting go of the past hurts, pains, because at the bottom of the deck here, what's happening subconsciously is your soul is ascending, Capricorn. You have soul advancement here. This is about personal growth. A lot of you are receiving downloads through meditation, but you have this heightened sense of awareness that you wouldn't have had if you wouldn't have gone through this stuff. Whatever this strength energy is that has prepared you for this point could be career for some of you. We see here that career is possibly increasing. You could be turning a new leaf, literally. Uh, job change, promotion, side hustles, turning this into a career. But there is advancement here. But you still are taking the, the lessons that you've learned in the past with the memories card. I feel like you're taking the memories, but you're not fixated on looking at that past any longer because you've done the healing work with rest and retreat here. So definitely soul advancement taking place here after working really, really hard, a lot of dedication, a lot of effort towards some dreams here. So allow yourself to play, to have fun, to rest, to travel, to retreat, whatever you need to do in the month of February. Just enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy some happiness. Enjoy the accolades of your hard work here because we do start off with the four of swords and this is about a needed, much needed time for yourself, right? It's about overthinking at times, obsessing about money or about relationships. It's getting caught in our head where we want more mental stability, right? Because sometimes we feel very unstable with our thoughts, with our minds, hence this being the swords. And I feel like that Aquarian energy is about you finding ways to communicate through your thought, through your intellect, through that divine mind, and you're able to kind of get some rest here. This is rest after hard work because you have been putting in a lot of hard work there. And I don't know if you've seen the light, but it just flickered. Some of you may even be seeing flickering lights. You may be seeing things, uh, maybe orbs as well, or maybe you're seeing auras. They're showing me lights. Uh, you're heading towards more peace. You see the doves flying above her as well. So I And she's smiling. When she's laying down here, it's like there is a sense of, oh, I deserve this rest, or this is much appreciated, or I can finally enjoy some of the, the rewards that have come with the hard work. So this is exciting for you. You've needed this. Some of you could be getting out of the city. You see a city in the background. Uh, some of you may be going towards a, a retreat or a place of rest, as we did see that rest and retreat card showing up here in your energy. So maybe it is a peaceful place. It is a place of healing. Okay, maybe you are relaxing, taking a time out, or just getting some downtime for yourself. How wonderful. But we also have the Nine of Pentacles. This is a beautiful energy of self-sufficiency. It's about standing on your own two feet. It's about enjoying the rewards that you've worked so very hard for. It's creating a life that you love and a life that you are proud of. Whether you have a partner or not, this can be a singular energy, but it's about 
being independent and that's the best way to be even in a relationship because it means that you're not codependent on each other for your happiness and I feel like there is a sense of feeling like you're finally getting to that place of success. This is about acquiring maybe property for some of you. There could be a profit coming in. This can be, <clears throat> excuse me, thinking about retirement. This can absolutely be real estate. I also see here for some of you, uh, you are deciding to go off on your own and do something here, build your own business. The nine of pentacles is all about individual achievement, material wealth, safety, security, right? You've achieved some big rewards here. And you can see that there's a beautiful parrot on her hand. And it's like her self-talk has been very important as well. Because when you talk to a parrot, right, they mimic the words back to you. So there is something important, if not crucial, to your manifesting skills. And it really has to do with your self-talk. And I feel like a lot of you... You've stayed loyal to yourself. You see the dog here along with the parrot. So it's like staying loyal to your word or staying loyal to what you've set out to do. It's like some sort of truth here. You've had to trust your path, trust your journey. And I feel like there's a sense of achievement coming in that's going to bring a lot of happiness. Now you're wrapping up a cycle, Capricorn. Uh, the world card is showing up here. One of two of the major arcana is showing up and they're very big ones uh, as are all major arcanas. But this is about a mature and fulfilling maybe relationship. Finally getting to the point where you are calling in, attracting, or are in a higher level of commitment that is more mature. Uh, for others of you, if this is business, this is successfully reaching your goals. This can be global or international travel as well. Some of you could be thinking about traveling. Some of you are reaching people on a global level within your business. Maybe there are new contracts coming in here where you expand your business through an online platform, through some sort of technology as well. I am getting some of you working with or looking into AI, artificial intelligence, but you hold the world in your hands here. So it's like the world is your oyster, okay? This is your energy, Capricorn Aquarius as well. You've completed a cycle here, and I feel like if you were stuck in the past or if you felt like you were repeating an old cycle, this cycle is completing. And now you are able to look at this world and say, okay, the world's my oyster. What's next? But, but instead of jumping into that fool energy of what's next, there's a pause. There's a pause because you've worked really, really hard. You don't get to this world overnight, right? You go through the whole fool's journey. So some of you, this could have been a year, a year's time. For many of you, it could have been 10 years time as well. But I feel like this is a very beautiful energy around just feeling a sense of victory. Okay, beautiful energy here. Next up, we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is the card of reciprocity. It is equal give and take. When it comes to maybe sharing your resources, sharing and opening up your heart where there is equal give and take, both of you are willing to put in the effort to make something grow, make something work. And if anything has felt one-sided in the past, I feel like you are closing out that cycle, right? If you've been giving, 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 but someone's been taking, 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 or vice versa. I feel like that's the cycle you're wrapping up. This is about both of you benefiting, right? Whether you're the giver or the beggar here in this card, you can see that there is a woman with a child on the back and she has her hands out and there is the justice scales. It's almost like the karmic scales, what goes around comes around. And if you've been putting out good energy, which I feel like you have, if you've been putting out the words of happiness, prosperity, abundance, despite hard times, this is coming back to you tenfold. This is big energy here, Capricorn. You deserve this. And a lot of you have been going through the thick of things. And it's like you're wading through the, the forest, wading through the trees, and you're waiting to see that light at the end of the, the forest line. But it's like you keep getting thicker and thicker. And you ask yourself, am I just lost in the woods? I, I can't see a way out here. What's happening? And then all of a sudden, one day, 
there is this, well, we'll say tree star going back to the land before time. It's like there's this light that comes shining through and you remember your why. You remember your, your soul purpose. You remember your human experience. Some of you even have access to the Akashic records. I mean, we all do, but it's about you diving in and remembering what you came here to do. And part of the experience is, and some of you have learned a very valuable lesson that your soul chose to experience, regardless of how difficult it was. And now you're able to say, okay, I'm washing my hands of that experience. I've learned all that I've needed to learn. Now I'm ready to move on to the next phase and the next chapter. But first, I'm going to relax and I'm going to enjoy the lessons being completed here. That's why you have the bliss. This is about financial backing as well. This could be someone, a partner, a partnership coming in here. It could be a financial institution. It could be a family member. Someone's helping you out here to bring back balance when it comes to your financial sector, okay? Because this is financial backing. Someone having your back if you don't have enough, hence the beggar and the child, right? So I feel like there's good justice. There's something being balanced here. There's teamwork in the mix and I really love this for you Capricorn because some of you have felt very alone very isolated uh, you've even felt at times codependent with the nine of Pentacles even though it's showing up in a positive light here some of you you felt very lonely in your endeavors as you were trying to work your way through the you know the strength energy you felt like you wanted to give up at times or you did feel like you had to be or were codependent on other people. Maybe you felt like you couldn't follow through because of finances. That's all about to take a turn here. Now you have the King of Wands. King of Wands is someone who marches to the beat of their own drum. They are someone who takes charge of their destiny. They are very active, very passionate, goal-oriented, driven. They could be a spiritual influencer. They could be a leader, an entrepreneur. This is someone very affectionate and passionate as well. Maybe this is a soulmate or a business partnership that you are attracting or calling in or you're currently involved with. For others of you, when it comes to money, this is all about feeling inspired and feeling the possibilities that are available to you. And some of you, there is a new offer coming in, a new job. This could be a promotion. For others of you, you're getting clarity around a creative endeavor. And I feel like that's why there's so much happiness coming in here. I mean, King of Wands, beautiful, fiery, passionate energy. And that's what we see in the background of the sun here. I mean, the sun is that that vibrance, that, you know, joy for life, that pleasure, that desire, the yes as well, finally feeling like all of our hard work is paying off here. So a lot of you are business owners, entrepreneurs, or you are moving forward and marching to the beat of your own drum. Someone could be or have maybe Japanese uh, in their background as well. Uh, there's the lions as well. We see that Leo energy coming through strong here. I am getting something with maybe a Japanese flower, uh, maybe a Japanese form of uh, healing such as Reiki, okay? That could be significant for some of you, but the King of Wands is quite powerful here because they know what they want and they go for it, right? They know what they want and they go for it. And that leads you straight into judgment. The judgment card is all about choosing a path that aligns with your talents and that judgment horn is calling deep within you. You have this innate knowing, right? That you have the ability to change your life here for the better. This is about an awakening. It is a redemption, a rite of passage. It's all about healing the wounds of the past, letting go of regrets. It can be karma, right? It's about feeling like you finally are able to Choose a path that aligns with your talents instead of feeling that maybe some of you even thought, Melissa, I've gone through this karmic experience or Libra and the South Node right now is really activating a lot of karmic wounds, past life energy, maybe around money, around love, around health. And I feel like you see the angel in the background here. It's like the angels are coming in to say to you, here's your miracle. You've learned what you've needed to learn. And even though this was part of your soul's progression, your soul's ascension, personal growth, which we see here in the ascension card, <coughs> 
And a lot of you, yes, it is finances, it's health, or excuse me, well, it could be health, uh, it's money, it's career. But for others of you, it is a second chance, maybe even at love, okay? This is about bringing less judgment to the table when it comes to you, your faults, other people's faults, or judging other situations, and letting bygones be bygones, saying, okay, I can forgive, because this is a big card around forgiveness as well. And I feel like you're forgiving, but you're not forgetting. You're taking the lessons, but you're not letting the pain affect you moving forward any longer. That's why you have trust here. You're trusting that this has all been part of the plan, we'll say, or part of the growth. But you're definitely choosing a new path, I see, showing up in the future. So this is pretty big energy, Capricorn. I feel like you have been... Every month, it feels like there's something, a twist and a turn, and you may still see that showing up in 2024, but what I sense from this is you're letting go of the past and you're stepping into this new energy within you because you fulfilled some soul contracts and you're going to see more flow. It doesn't mean there's not going to be any challenge or any struggle, but you have the strength now that maybe you didn't have in the past. And you have more of it because you've acquired it through all of your experiences. So when it does come to finances, money, wealth, and abundance, you have the butterfly, you have the seal, and you have the sword. So this talks about money conflicts. And a lot of you have had a lot of money conflicts. Maybe there were legalities that were put in place here, law and order. Some of you, there was a major pay cut. Maybe this is a company going under. Maybe you were fired. You were let go. This is constantly feeling fight or flight, like you're on the defense mode. What if? What's going to happen now? Am I going to have enough money? Right? So I feel like there is a breakthrough. Look at this. Breakthrough. Two of Swords energy is about needing to make a decision. You've come to a point in your life where you're at a crossroads, and that's where the judgment card sits here. It's about evaluating your path moving forward, and I feel like you are choosing to seal the deal. Look at that new contract. I feel it says business contract, but I feel soul contract, but it certainly could show up in the form of a new business contract, documents. It could be a gift of money that shows up. Some of you, this has to do with taxes, administrative work, writing, clerical work. It could be paperwork that you fill out or paperwork you're looking into, accounting as well, maybe hiring a professional. Some of you are gonna get a windfall of money of some way, shape, or form, and it's gonna allow you to seal the deal or stay put on your path towards your dreams, right? This is gonna allow you to help you align with your talents and your skills. Because some of you felt like you had to veer off the path here for a while just to make ends meet or just to survive or do whatever you had to do that was really causing you to step into this strength, this determination, this self-control. And look at what we have here, the butterfly. <coughs> Excuse me. The butterfly is around about sudden changes and it is about short-term loans. Some of you, that windfall, maybe it is a short-term loan. Uh, this is about creativity, making your work more fun. There could be a move in your work or this does talk about movement when it comes to finances or money. Pay attention to your spending. We don't wanna be over frivolous, especially if you don't have money to spend. But if some of you, if you have been working really hard and you've been saving really hard and you haven't bought yourself or treated yourself to something in quite some time, I feel like this is giving you permission. Not that you need permission, uh, Capricorn, but I feel like there is permission here to spend a little, have a little fun. All right, let's look at love. Some of you, you are either in a, a marriage. This situation could involve marriage. Um, possibly even children, because we have wedding and children involved here. Uh, some of you may be wanting to call in a soulmate where you can have a family dynamic. Maybe someone else has children or you do, whether they are young or adult, it doesn't matter. But what I'm really getting from this energy, especially with this card here, engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I mean, look at what's at the bottom of the deck here, ascension. So there is something in matters of the heart 
that is ascending, that is evolving, that is growing. Some of you have completed a very big cycle. Maybe you're going from the dating to moving in together. Uh, perhaps you're going from you know, uh, engagement to marriage for some of you. Perhaps you're going from marriage to divorce. I mean, it could be anything here, even though I don't see any ending cards. Sometimes the judgment is the card of a second chance, second chance at love, whether with a person that you're currently with or with a new person. But in order to be able to ascend our heart energy, we have to let go of regrets. And some of you, perhaps you're in a relationship that may have been karmic in nature because we do have the world and the judgment here. So this could be the end of a karmic cycle for some of you. I mean, the world can be ending. So yes, I feel like whatever resonates with your story, but regardless of even if something is kind of going in a new direction for you, there's still soul advancement. A lot of times we get caught up and we say, you know, I'm divorcing, therefore I failed. But that's not it at all. It's about the experience, the lessons, the growth, and moving on to a new fool's journey. So regardless of what's happening around love, this situation does involve commitment here of some way, shape, or form. And for a lot of you, you may even be connecting uh, maybe you are more independent in nature, but you have this king of wands who's kind of off doing their own thing. Some of you could be at a distance as well. Some of you may be with someone who works a lot. Okay. Uh, some of you, you may even judge this person at times, but I feel like there is something here of letting go and avoiding judging others, healing the wounds and forgiveness necessary in order to ascend the heart chakra. All right, and lastly here, you have from the Soul Truth deck here, you have what expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? The expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they're not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Today is soul action. Be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace, right? And we said that earlier with the doves. You're being summoned to more peace. That judgment is a summoning card. It's saying, okay, you want to do things differently? Here's your opportunity. So in order to summon more peace, it says here, peace is home for our soul and it is accompanied by trust. Whoa, you can't make that up. There's the trust, your key theme. It says, it comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. That's the world. That's the bliss. This bliss is fulfillment. That is the key. This is part of the secret here. Some of you may need to go back and rewind that. Uh, maybe jot it down. Come back to this reading throughout the month because I feel like this is really going to help you stay in this place of or experience moments of this bliss, okay, to release some expectations that maybe you have placed upon yourself or others. You have here, am I willing? You are on the edge of something great, Capricorn. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. See what I said? I said that trust piece was going to show up numerous times throughout your reading. And I feel like there is a big level of trusting in oneself. You will reach the dream. There's that bliss. But you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. There's the strength. I'm loving the synchronicities here. Today is soul action. Be brave. Follow your heart's compass and lift the lid on your own dreams. Today's mantra, it's possible. I even like I'm possible uh, because, you know, even the word impossible itself spells I'm possible. So I want you to tell yourself it is possible, right? I expect miracles. I am willing. I say yes to freedom. Beautiful. And lastly, I had to chuckle when this one came out because you actually have the judgment card. But it says here, from whom can I release my judgment right now? Judgment closes our heart to truth. There's that truth energy again. It closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. 
It binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles. Drop the expectations. Be grateful for what is. Today is soul action, Capricorn. Look at the person you are judging as if you are looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. See their desires to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this truth. When I lift the judgment for myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved. I am whole. I am limitless. And so are they. Powerful energy here. I am loving this for you. Yes, it's going to require you to do some inner work, which a lot of you already have been. But if you can get through what you've got through in the past, it's like I see the worst behind you. I see that, yes, there's still going to be some bumps in the road, but because you've acquired this resilience, this strength, this determination, this self-control, it's going to help you when you move forward through any of these challenges. All right, let's get a message from the Crystal Spirits. And at this time, Capricorn, I ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And with your eyes closed upon your exhale, I want you to tune into that third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. I want you to imagine the first crystal or gemstone that shows up in your mind's eye. Now this could be a beautiful, bright and shiny stone. Maybe it's showing up as a specific color, shape or size. Maybe it's a crystal that's a personal favorite and you even know the name of. Perhaps you're wearing this crystal or it's within your reach. Or maybe you're just feeling the frequency emitting from the crystal in your mind's eye. Perhaps it's a frequency of love, grounding, healing, or transformation. Just be willing to open that third eye to visualize, to feel, to experience whatever messages, whatever crystals are showing up for you. And if you need a moment, Capricorn, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway where I draw one winner around the first of each month, all you need to do is drop your crystal, or if you had more than one, that's okay as well, drop it in the comment section below the video, and I personally will enter you into that giveaway. So please make sure you've hit that bell and subscribe button so you don't miss that notification. All right, you have the crystal of sodalite. Sodalite, card 52. Some of you may be 52 years old. Seven could be your life path number, or you are in a personal year seven. Okay, Sodalite is all about intentionality, conscious awareness. It's about an awakened state, Capricorn. It's all about your inner knowing, your self-confidence, and clear expression of your intentions. Hence the beautiful blue color that does align with our throat chakras. I'm going to read the relationship message and the prosperity message for you. Relationship. Healing doesn't require perfection, but it does require that you remain awake to the truth that you are a divine, beautiful being, always connected to the universe, who wants the very best for you. Spiritual amnesia will send you circling back to old patterns you vowed never to repeat. The appearance of sodalite is a reminder to reestablish your sense of connection so the universe can guide you to where you need to be. Do not forget your worth, your values, and most importantly, your truth. If you are unsure of the next move to make, meditate. As you remain present in the moment, you will more easily avoid spiritual narcolepsy and falling back into the old ways. We see you have an opportunity here to redeem yourself from the past, from the old ways. 
When it comes to prosperity, the message of sodalite can guide you when you are seeing scarcity instead of abundance, knowing that the universe is there to bolster your ability to co-create prosperity in many forms. It may be just what you need to get past the old fears, keeping you stuck in patterns left behind. We all fall into habits learned many, many years ago, but sodalite has a way it's appearing to help you awaken so you can catch yourself before veering too far off the path you've chosen for yourself we literally talked about this you kind of veering off the path in ways but kind of redeeming yourself coming back with that judgment card it is about a reawakening here prosperity flourishes when you are aligned with the universe and your true self oh i love this for those of you that do work with crystals soda light can teach us how to be here in the now rather than too far into the past which creates you know anxiety or too far into the future uh, or i think they say depression in the past anxiety in the future so this can really help stay present when you meditate with this stone it can help us experience the wisdom of our journey hence akashic records right this is all about encouraging us to non-attachment and integration of all experiences helping us make choices in the moment from that higher perspective that's beautiful energy here so Soda light can be a really great one for those of you where this reading does resonate and you are allowing yourself this second chance at a new career, at your health, at love, whatever it is on your journey thus far, this can really help you stay present and stay focused on what you need to right here, right now. And that's what the sun card or the bliss energy is all about as well. We don't constantly stay in the energy of the sun. It's just not part of the earthly experience. If we want that, maybe go to another planet. But part of it is to, to see and remember why we came here and to have those glimpses into our soul's path and to feel happiness and to feel abundance because it is our birthright, but it doesn't mean that we are exempt from going through some of the struggles and the trials and errors. And like it says, we sometimes have spiritual narcolepsy when we're in those experiences because we think, why? What now? What did I do to, to deserve this? We can get in that, that victim mentality where I feel a lot of you, you're coming out of this cycle. This is a really powerful time for you to be alive. It's a powerful time for you in your career, in your relationships. It's a powerful time in general. And I really get, um, they're showing me journal as well. Journal. I also get the name Sandy or Sandra. So some of you uh, may be working with automatic writing, journaling, writing a memoir, uh, I said journaling twice, definitely something with journaling here for you. Maybe that helps you express yourself more. Paying attention to your dreams, uh, building that sense of trust, right? By surrendering and letting go of maybe some form of expectation or control. I also get here healing some mother wounds. Mothering could be coming in here for some of you, even though we don't see mother. I feel like there is a sense of mothering or maybe you yourself at times don't feel like a good enough mother. Okay, you've, you've gone through a lot and it's important to see the journey thus far and there's so much more coming in for you. You have the judgment. This is about staying in alignment with your path as it says choose a path that aligns with your talents with your soul's mission and with who you are and even if you take a detour even if you get off that track for some time it's not for nothing it's part of the the perfectly imperfect divine plan here on earth that's what i have for you capricorn i hope that was helpful thank you spirit i'm also hearing the name joseph Joseph, that could be part of a name. Maybe it's a place. Maybe it's, they're giving me also some of you visiting maybe a zoo, uh, a state park, or an architectural landscape. It's almost like I see a very important place that holds a lot of history. Some of you may even have deja vu. Okay, this could be a place you're traveling to or a place that's in the works. Or you may have a strong call to go towards one of those places. Again, thank you so much for being here, Capricorn. If this reading resonates, please hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Don't forget to drop your crystals in the comment section below. And again, hit that subscribe, bell, and like button if you are enjoying the reading. Lots of love.